When Pokemon Sword and Shield came around, there was a lot of talk about Dexit, how not every single Pokemon was going to be in the game. However, what was not talked about as much was that there was also a list of moves being removed. If you transfer a Pokemon with a move not in Sword and Shield, the game will tell you that it's not able to be used, and will suggest you simply remove it. Future games avoid this issue by having home create a separate move set for each game for each of your Pokemon, an unnecessary solution for what was an easily avoidable problem. Now, let's talk about the moves that were lost. For starters, the most obvious case would be the Zed moves, special, super strong attacks only usable through the use of a Zed Crystal, which are exclusive to the Alotha region. These make sense, you can't get the crystals and so the moves are unusable in other regions. There is a whopping 35 moves that are no longer around because of this. Breakneck Blitz, All Out Pummeling, Supersonic Sky Strike, Acid Downpour, Tectonic Rage, Continental Crush, Savage Spin Out, Never Ending Nightmare, Corkscrew Crash, Inferno Overdrive, Hydro Vortex, Bloom Doom, Gigavolt Havoc, Shattered Psyche, Sub-Zero Slammer, Devastating Drake, Black Hole Eclipse, Twinkle Tackle, Catastropeka, 10 Million Volt Thunderbolt, Stoked Spark Surfer, Extreme Evo Boost, Pulverizing Pancake, Genesis Supernova, Sinister Arrow Raid, Malicious Moonsault, Oceanic Operetta, Splintered Storm Shards, Let's Snuggle Forever, Clangorous Soul Blaze, Guardian of Alola, Searing Sunray Smash, Menacing Moonray's Malstorm, Light That Burns the Sky, and Soul Stealing Seven Star Strike. Our next batch of lost moves are the ones exclusive to Let's Go. In these games, your partner Pokemon, either Pikachu or Eevee, can learn special moves to compensate for their inability to evolve. Pikachu has access to Zippy Zap, Splishy Splash, Floaty Tail, and Pika Papau. Eevee gets moves that match the types of all of its evolutions, being Bouncy Bubble, Buzzy Buzz, Sizzly Slide, Glitzy Glow, Batty Bad, Sappy Seed, Freezy Frost, Sparkly Swirl, and VV Volley. These moves were incredibly strong and had side effects such as always hitting a status effect or healing the user and so on. These moves were also kind of understandable to not return, as they were exclusive to the partner Pokemon and, and they are forever trapped inside of Let's Go. Now, while those emissions are somewhat understandable, there's a whole other list of moves, some even being long-standing parts of the series, that have been removed. These are, and bear with me, Assist, Barrage, Barrier, Bestow, Bide, Bone Club, Bubble, Camouflage, Captivate, Chip Away, Clamp, Comet Punch, Constrict, Dizzy Punch, Double Slap, Dragon Rage, Egg Bomb, Embargo, Faint Attack, Flame Burst, Flash, Foresight, Frustration, Grass Whistle, Heal Block, Heal Order, Heart Stamp, Heart Swap, Hidden Power, Ice Ball, Ion Deluge, Jump Kick, Karate Chop, Lucky Chant, Magnet Bomb, Magnitude, Me First, Meditate, Miracle Eye, Mirror Move, Mirror Shot, Mud Bomb, Mud Sport, Natural Gift, Needle Arm, Nightmare, Odor Sleuth, Ominous Wind, Psycho Boost, Psy Wave, Punishment, Pursuit, Rage, Razor Wind, Refresh, Return, Rock Climb, Rolling Kick, Rototiller, Secret Power, Sharpen, Signal Beam, Silver Wind, Sky Drop, Sky Uppercut, Smelling Salts, Snatch, Sonic Boom, Spider Web, Spike Cannon, Spotlight, Steamroller, Synchro Noise, Tail Glow, Telekinesis, Trump Card, Twin Needle, Wake Up Slap, Water Sport, and Ring Out. These moves cover a wide range. Some are signature moves to certain species, and if those Pokemon aren't in the game, it would make sense for the move to just be unobtainable. However, some of these are weird choices, like the removal of heal order when attack order and defense order get to stay, or the loss of moves like Bubble, Karate Chop, and others that have been around since the original games. Even Flash, one of the original HMs, is gone. While there's definitely some redundancies in Pokemon moves, the variety helped create some more uniqueness between Pokemon. As someone who grew up playing Gen 4 a lot, there's a lot of moves that I see as being truly iconic, such as Bide, Return, Embargo, and so on that are all linked to specific parts of the journey, and their absence does sadden me a bit. Talking about Gen 4, the next game for us to mention will be the Sinnoh remakes, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. These games, obviously missing the Zed moves and the partner moves, also doesn't have the Sword and Shield exclusive Max and G-Max moves. Being Max Flare, Max Flutterby, Max Lightning, Max Strike, Max Knuckle, Max Phantasm, Max Hailstorm, Max Ooze, Max Geyser, Max Airstream, Max Starfall, Max Wormwind, Max Mindstorm, Max Rockfall, Max Quake, Max Darkness, Max Overgrowth, Max Steel Spike, Max Guard, G Max Wildfire, G Max Befuddle, G Max Volt Crash, G Max Gold Rush, G Max Chi Strike, G Max Terror, G Max Resonance, G Max Cuddle, G Max Replenish, G Max Malodor, G Max Stone Surge, G Max Wind Rage, G Max Stun Shock, G Max Finale, G Max Depletion, 
Gmax Gravitas, Gmax Vocalith, Gmax Sandblast, Gmax Snooze, Gmax Tartness, Gmax Sweetness, Gmax Smite, Gmax Steel Surge, Gmax Meltdown, Gmax Foam Burst, Gmax Centiferno, Gmax Fireball, Gmax Drum Solo, Gmax Hydro Snipe, Gmax One Blow, Gmax Rapid Flow, Gmax Vine Lash, and Gmax Cannonade. And that's not all. It's not only missing most of the standard moves from Sword and Shield, but a bunch of new ones, mostly down to being moves from Pokemon Generations 5 and onwards. The new additions are, and please really bear with me here, Acela Rock, Anchor Shot, Apple Acid, Astral Barrage, Aura Wheel, Baneful Bunker, Beak Blast, Behemoth Ash, Behemoth Blade, Blue Flare, Bolt Beak, Bolt Strike, Branch Poke, Breaking Swipe, Brutal Swing, Burning Jealousy, Celebrate, Clinging Scales, Clingerous Soul, Coaching, Core Enforcer, Corrosive Gas, Court Change, Crafty Shield, Darkest Lariat, Decorate, Diamond Storm, Double Iron Bash, Dragon Darts, Dragon Energy, Drum Beating, Dual Wing Beat, Dynamax Cannon, Eerie Spell, Electrify, Electro Web, Expanding Force, Fairy Lock, False Surrender, Fiery Dance, Fiery Wrath, Fire Lash, Fire Pledge, First Impression, Ficious Rend, Flare Cannon, Flip Turn, Floral Healing, Flying Press, Forest Curse, Freeze Shock, Freezing Glare, Fusion Bolt, Fusion Flare, Gear Grind, Gear Up, Geomancy, Glacial Lance, Glaciate, Grass Pledge, Grassy Glide, Grav Apple, Happy Hour, Head Charge, Heat Crash, Hold Back, Hold Hands, Horn Leech, Hyper Fang, Hyperspace Fury, Hyperspace Hole, Ice Burn, Ice Hammer, Instruct, Jaw Lock, Jungle Healing, King Shield, Lance Wrath, Lash Out, Light of Ruin, Magic Powder, Matte Block, Meteor Salt, Meteor Beam, Mind Blown, Misty Explosion, Moon Geist Beam, Multi Attack, Nature's Madness, Night Days, No Retreat, Oblivion Wing, Obstruct, Octo Block, Overdrive, Parabola Charge, Photon Geyser, Plasma Fist, Pollen Puff, Poltergeist, Powder, Power Trip, Prismatic Laser, Psychic Fangs, Psychic Terrain, Purify, Pyro Ball, Relic Song, Revelation Dance, Rising Voltage, Sacred Sword, Scale Shot, Scorching Sands, Searing Shot, Secret Sword, Shadow Bone, Shell Side Arm, Shell Trap, Shift Gear, Shore Up, Skitter Smack, Snap Trap, Snipe Shot, Solar Blade, Sparkling Area, Spectral Thief, Speed Swap, Spirit Break, Spirit Shackle, Steam Eruption, Steel Beam, Steel Roller, Strange Steam, Stuffed Cheeks, Sunsteel Strike, Surging Strikes, Tail Slap, Tar Shot, Tea Time, Techno Boost, Terrain Pulse, Thousand Arrows, Thousand Waves, Thunder Cage, Thunderous Kick, Topsy Turvy, Trick or Treat, Triple Axle, Trop Kick, V Create, Water Pledge, Water Shuriken, and Wicked Blow. These games are missing a lot. There's even moves in the originals that they didn't bring back for whatever reason. However, there's a small list of moves that they did bring back. Flash, Heart Swap, Hidden Power, Psycho Boost, Rock Climb, and Tail Glow all make their return, mostly out of necessity but it's nice to see some back regardless. Now, if you thought the missing moves from BDSP are bad, wait for Legends Arceus. There are over 900 moves in this series, and this game only has about 180. And to save my vocal cords and your ears, I'm not about to list over 700 moves here. However, it's important to note that it does bring back some in its very small selection, those being Bubble, Ice Ball, Mud Bomb, Ominous Wind, and Silver Wind. Scarlet and Violet, our current final stop, is also missing some moves. Zed moves, Partner moves, and the Max moves are still gone and its list of normal moves missing isn't too ridiculous. New omissions being Submission, Skull Bash, Kinesis, Lovely Kiss, Bone Meringue, Mind Reader, Octazooka, Vital Throw, Hail, Magic Coat, Grudge, Aromatherapy, Chatter, Automize, Storm Throw, Dual Shop, Leaf Tornado, Flower Shield, Venom Drench, Power Up Punch, and Laser Focus. And while that wraps up the history of like moves being removed from entries in the series, mostly swap it around based around what Pokemon are in each game, but nothing here has really been concrete loss of time yet, and that's going to come from the moves the last seen in Gen 7. We already touched on the partner Pokemon moves in Let's Go, but it has some more moves that aren't seen anywhere else on the Switch. Barrage, Barrier, Bide, Bone Club, Clamp, Comet Punch, Constrict, Dizzy Punch, Double Slap, Dragon Rage, Egg Bomb, Hyper Fang, Jump Kick, Karate Chop, Meditate, Mirror Move, Psy Wave, Rage, Razor Wind, Rolling Kick, Sharpen, Sonic Boom, Spike Cannon, and Twin Needle. Let's go are missing a bunch of moves due to only having 153 Pokemon in them. But it also serves as a time capsule for 24 moves that, in terms of Switch games, are stuck in just Let's Go. If you care about filling in the moves Pokedex and home, these at least have easy access. This next list, however, are moves that have not been seen since the 3DS games. Assist, Bestow, Camouflage, Captivate, Chip Away, Embargo, Faint Attack, Flame Burst, Foresight, Frustration, Grass Whistle, Heal Block, Heal Order, Heart Stamp, Ion Deluge, Lucky Chant, Magnet Bomb, Magnitude, Map Block, Me First, Miracle Eye, Mirror Shot, Mud Sport, Natural Gift, Needle Arm, Nightmare, Odor Sleuth, Powder, Punishment, Pursuit, Refresh, Return, Rototiller, Secret Power, Signal Beam, 
Sky Drop, Sky Uppercut, Smelling Salts, Snatch, Spiderweb, Spotlight, Steamroller, Synchro Noise, Telekinesis, Trump Card, Wake Up Slap, Water Sport, and Ring Out. That's a whopping 48 moves not available in the Switch games that have moved dex entries on home. The 3DS's online is now offline, with Bank and Transporter being the exceptions, but they have an unknown expiration date. These moves are on an unknown time limit for how much longer they will be available. Hopefully one day we will see them pop up in a new title, but with how little BDSP brought back for being faithful remakes, it's looking a bit grim. This video took a good bit of researching. It's not something like Evolutions where I knew most of it off the top of my head, so hopefully I have everything right here. This is something I'm a little passionate about. I like the collecting aspect of Pokemon, and I think the moves are just as important as the Pokemon themselves. I would love to hear from you in the comments. So drop what your favorite move is, what your least favorite move is, ones you're sad that are gone, ones you hope that are gone. You know, even just say hi. Uh, as always, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. It really does help out the channel. With that said, this has been BigBlast99, and I hope you all have yourselves a goddamn good one.